How do busy people get jacked? That is what we're going to uncover in this video because I understand not everyone is an absolute gym rat. People have lives. People go through periods in their life where they still want to be in good shape, but it is not their only focus and it's not their only uh, mission in life. So we want to really give you a solution to that issue. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tom Sergi. I run the Gorilla Platoon Online Physique Transformation Program, where we get results like this. And what we're going to cover is how do busy people get jacked. And I'm going to give you the workout routine I would prescribe you, um, or that I have prescribed to clients, that literally have minimal time to train. We're going to explain why things are the way they are, uh, how often you should do it and all that good stuff. We're not going to look into uh, the nutrition side of it. I've done many videos on that. Maybe I will look into that for a busy, specific, specifically for busy people. But we are going to look only at training today. So let's go. So if you are a busy individual and you just don't have that much time to allocate to training, then my method to you... Jesus Christ, it sounds like the sky is going to come down. There's thunder and lightning everywhere. The method I would use to do would be a three-day full body split, or at the very least, maybe even just a two-day. It would have to be full body because that way you're going to get the frequency. And remember, when we're looking to program, we've got three metrics to look at. We've got frequency, how often you train a muscle. We've got intensity, how hard. And we've also got volume, how much. Now, when you're programming for this, frequency can still be adhered to. Twice per week, you stimulate that muscle twice per week, which is really gold standard across any physique trying to, when you're trying to develop it. You don't want to be just training all on one given day. That's why bro splits, not that there's anything that wrong with them, but they get a bad rap for that reason. You can stimulate your chest. 48 hours later, you can do it again. So frequency wants to be something we consider. Now, Intensity is going to have to be something we can and we have to consider. If you're not training hard and you're not training often, by fuck, you're not going to make results. You have to train really, really fucking hard. But of course, volume will be the limiting factor out of the three here. You probably just won't accumulate that much volume. So we're going to have to do it often and we're going to have to do it intense. Now, the split, I would break it down to you've got full body A and full body B, and I would alternate each time I stepped on the gym floor. If you do three times a week, then twice per week, you do full body A and once full body B, and the next week, you do full body B twice and full body A. So you just alternate every time you step on the gym floor. Let's go through the exercises, what I would prescribe. Uh, this is really geared to around uh, building a male aesthetic upper body physique, and these are the exercises I would program. So for the lower body uh, and the quads and glutes, I'd be programming a dumbbell split squat. Or you could swap this for maybe a leg press or a hack squat if you've got something available for that. I like split squat for the sheer fact that it's you, it's a lot of full body. Like, And don't get me wrong, you've heard on this channel many times, support everything that's not the working muscle. But if you're training it, you don't have that much time to train, it would actually serve you to get the stabilizers involved for the upper body for the midsection, having to brace the coordination. You get a lot out of this uh, dumbbell split squat. <clears throat> you also get traps in there as well where you're having to hold the load in your hands with straps uh, to stabilize as well. I would be supersetting one set of split squat with one set of lat pull downs. So I'd be going lower push into upper pull. And I would superset set one, set one, set two, set two, set three, set three. Now, why would I do this? Well, if time is limited, I wouldn't want to wait around on one piece of machinery because I will do the exercise, then I'll be fatigued, I'll rest, and maybe I won't be recovered as much. Whereas if I do the exercise, rest, but then go into a completely different movement pattern, do that exercise, rest, then come back to the original one. I've had a fair amount of minutes of that working muscle. Don't get me wrong, there's going to be some global fatigue, of course, but this is a training session. So by the time I go back to this exercise, I'll be fresher than if I just stayed on this. So this is what where I would pair these two together. I would also then go on to a lion hamstring curl along with an inclined dumbbell press. Lower, it's not really pull, but you, it kind of works the back of the body. It's the polar opposite to your incline, uh, which is an upper body push. And then what I would do is, after I've done, uh, call this your A series, call this your B series, I'd then be doing a C series of isolation where I'd go one, two, three. So dumbbell lateral raises, rope push down, and preacher curl for the biceps. When it comes to rep ranges, I'd be keeping them 
uh, intense levels. I actually wouldn't be going too high repetitions. You could do one set of 12 to 15, but we know for sure all sets take it to absolute failure, zero RAR. And don't get me wrong, if you train really fucking hard, if you follow this program and absolutely send it, you will see gains. Because this program forces you to train fucking hard because you're not going to train long. And, and that can be done. Look at your energy like a fuel tank. You can either fucking siphon it out in one go with max effort, or you can draw it out with less. The choice is really yours. Uh, three sets on this. So again, we're going top, uh, set one, set two, set one, uh, all the way to set three. On the isolation, we've just given ourselves a bit more room for higher rep ranges when we do this here. So that'll be the full body A. As you go to the full body B, leg extension now with a row. Your own, and this is your only caveat to this program. If you're in a busy gym, motherfuckers will think you finished and you'll jump back on and you may miss the machine, which is annoying and that's, that's something you're going to have to, that's your personal gym, whether you think you can do it or not. But most of the time, if someone wants to use it, you're like, yeah, cool, you jump on. Yeah, cool, then I'll jump on. With both of these, if, if this is a machine and this is a machine, it's just a case of adjusting the pins, maybe the seat if they, they've fucked around with your setup. Leg extension into chest supported row, hip thrust. So we've got quads, upper back, glute, and then into chest, shoulder press uh, instead of a, instead of lateral raises, over tricep extension, and then seated dumbbell curls. Probably put this here actually instead of this one just for uh, a bit more efficiency. And again, you go in set one, set one, set two, set two, set three, set three, and repeating as follows. Obviously, log and record the, the reps in there. Uh, and then I would rinse this out until it comes to a point where you would obviously ideally do this three times a week minimum. You'll see good results off this. Um, I've, I've seen this program rinsed out and r good results come off the back of it. So as, as the absolute minimum, if you're a busy professional, you follow this exact split with full body, you'll see good results. You, you really will, especially if you train hard enough because we've got frequency there as well. Obviously, we're just missing a little bit of volume, but then as your schedule starts to open up, what you can do is move to a four-day split where you do full body push, everything on the front of the body, full body pull, everything on the back of the body, and repeat that times two. So then you've got your, you've got enough time for volume, you've got frequency because it's twice a week, and you're never going to miss on intensity, are you? So you're going to capture that as well. So this is what I'd do if I was really busy, didn't have time to train that much, or my training had to come down to absolute minimum amount of dosage. This would be the split I would follow in order to see the greatest uh, results. It's important that you don't just pick upper and lower in this analogy if you can only train twice or three times because you're going to miss uh, frequency out. And I'll tell you now, frequency with intensity, you'll get a good physique. So if you found this video useful, great, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to work with me, there'll be links in the description that we can take from there. See you tomorrow.